hey then what I need to do afterwards <laughs> hi James Laura with the follow thank you so much you okay I am doing okay TK I am thank you for the roses James my love Laura thank you so much chicken thank you James thank you so much chicken House Bridge. Much love. Much love. So I said your video was so cute last week. You never know, I might take a trip up to see you soon. I might take a trip up to see you soon. Laura, thank you. Thank you so much, James. There's no need, chicken. Just have to share out the screen. <laughs> Without G, there ain't no me. We can't do this page without G, beautiful, beautiful people. And James was one of the first people I actually started watching on TikTok in the background. He reminded me so much of my son. Because I'm an online son, so much. Good morning, Sabrina. No, I just, I'm just tired, TK. I'm just, I haven't had much sleep lately. I'm just tired, my love. I know. I used to watch you with your cap, sitting and singing songs for people. <laughs> I love that. I know, I know. Um, do I know Timmy? I don't know if I do, Caleb. I think that there was a Timmy in last night. There's unconditional love for everyone. I am, Katie. Thank you for asking. Broken sleep. I look so, so, so tired. And I'm high. <laughs> Since the full moon, I've had serious low energy. I know, I know, James. But you see, you always know, I know that I don't be in your room that often, but I do be watching from the outside. I do be watching from the outside. Always. His anniversary now is coming up very, very soon. His mass, I think, is on tonight. His anniversary mass and... You're generally the nicest woman I've spoke to. Thank you so much, beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Such a handsomest man. But, um, yeah. Hi, Lucy. That's probably why I'm not myself either, do you know what I mean? I've just... There's been a lot of stuff mentally, physically, emotionally and spiritually and... Yeah, you would have got the support you needed, my love. That's why you would have got the support you needed through your journey. Hi, Lucy. I am being gentle with myself, Kira. I am. Thank you, Cathy. No, we would have put you together, back together as a full man rather than another, the opposite. Mm. We would have taken that jigsaw apart and put it back together properly. <laughs> Hi, Lucy. I always do something every single day, Kira. I do something beautiful for myself every single day, if not two or three things. Thank you, Laura. Thank you so much. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, I said. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, I said. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, I said. Giddy up, I said. Giddy up, Cloda. Yes, I, I speak journal, Jackie. I, I don't write. Um, I've started journaling uh, through voice notes. Um, I speak a lot through voice notes. Yeah, right. So it's easier to speak, isn't it? I, I'm, if I went even, I, I type really fast, right, so I would type it, but my my mind moves too fast for how, for how, and I type fast, but my mind moves very a lot, a lot faster. 
So, um, yeah. Yeah. Ah, hiya, Cloda. How are you, chicken? <laughs> yeah, that was a beautiful day. That was a beautiful day. It was a year and a half ago. <laughs> Nearly. Oh, for the past six years, Fair Play Tower, their memoirs. Memoirs after that. But yeah, I've... Right, you know how I journal, right? And it's not actually even really journaling because like, I come to TikTok, right? And we speak and we speak and we speak and if we need to release, we need to release. If we need to speak, we need to speak. This is just like journaling itself coming to a beautiful place and being able to speak freely and non-judgmentally about how we feel, about how we don't feel and no judgment or no nothing. Do you know what I mean? So I have a lot of stuff to say and my hand starts to hurt. Yeah, right, so I always have, a, a, like, so much to say. I never stop. My mind never stops, right? But it, it, it's it's going in the right direction now, and it's not um, self-sabotaging, or it's not um, leading me down the wrong path. It's not wanting to escape. It's not my ego. I, I have had a lot, a lot of ego deaths over the last year, I think, as well, and some part of my ego is still there, too, because in some ways I can see my spiritual ego coming out as well. I, like, I've got a fucking, a bit of a spiritual ego, and I've got a, 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 just a tad, I'm very, very aware of it. Um, and it's very, very good to be self-aware, Jackie, too, right? I'm a fecker for picking. The only woman to heal my inner broken child, I'm healing mine, too, James, that's the thing. Right, we know that that little child suffered, right? I know of my little child, me, the little girl that was, she suffered so, so much and was so much understood, had so many sensory issues, had so many issues and could never express them and was punished for expressing herself. Like, so express yourself. No matter how much pain it can cause other people, if you're going to be happy, it's their issue with the pain that they're causing themselves. That inner child needs to be healed. But we know and understand that. So happy to see you again, Cloda. Hiya, Suzanne. How are you, chicken? I only speak the truth and nothing but but this woman. Oh, thank you so much, James. Thank you, my love. Yeah, Jackie, I bet they are for Tara. Red with the follow, thank you so much. My day is okay, Quiva. My day is okay, Red with the rose. Thank you so much. Good morning, Red. How are you, my love? Thank you with the flame heart, James. Red with, with the rose. And James with the rose. Red with the roses. Thank you, James with the rose. With the flame, with the pup heart, puff. With the flame heart. James, you just became 157 on the members team. Congratulations, your favourite guy. Thank you so much. I have to go paint. See you later, Reese. Enjoy your painting, my love. KK with the follow. Thank you. Ah, oh, thank you, James. Thank you so much. Enjoy your painting, Reese. Enjoy your painting, my love. Thank you with the treasure box, James. Thank you so much. Release, I would love to read it. Yeah, there you go. But you see, do you know what height KK to New Zealand? Thank you, James. Do you know what's if people right? Do you know if you say right, I don't have any passions, or I can't find a passion, or I can't find a purpose, right? Let that passion be you. Let that purpose only the best for you. Thank you so much, chicken. Let that purpose be you, right? And the more you put passion and joy and love into yourself, right? And even if it's through journaling. So much to be done with it. So, so, so much. And if you speak with passion, right, like I do, people will listen, right? Not all. We don't need everybody to listen because not everybody is woke enough to hear what we speak about. And especially about mental health, a lot of it will make people very, very comfortable because, uncomfortable, because they don't like talking about mental health issues. They're mirrors, right? And you're showing people mirrors of themselves who they don't want to see. They're literally escaping from all of that. So when we speak about ourselves and our journeys and our experience, they can trigger people like fuck, even though it's showing the darkness, our love. Right, we speak about our love, we speak about our light, we speak about our experience, and the more that we share them, the more that other people don't have to feel alone. They are beautifully therapy sessions. Beautifully. 
but we give beautiful experiences so that others don't feel alone on their journey or going through an experience themselves. Mental health, you get many experiences. Addiction, family members, either yourself, family members, very close family members, mother, father, daughter, son. Right? Everybody in every family in Ireland has an addict in it. Whether it's behind closed doors, whether it's not behind closed doors, nobody wants anybody to know. Shh, don't tell anybody about them. We're not related to them. So much stigma. Why? Why when there's when there's so many alcoholics in the world that there's so much stigma wrapped around it? Hiya, Haley. And addiction comes hand in hand with mental health. Why is there so much stigma? Ladies especially, why do you not want to talk about your mental health? Why do you not want to release what's going on? And men. Men just bottle it all up and then women have learned like the masculine side of them to bottle it all up. Be okay, sweet pea. I've learned to bottle it all up. Everything is bottling, bottling, bottling. Suppression, suppression, suppression. Tell lies to hide the truth. I found my voice. Hello, Timmy. I found my voice. All I knew is that I needed to speak. But I, once we take ownership and accountability for ourselves, it's it's okay to admit our dark stuff. It's okay to admit our flaws. Because they're not weaknesses if we take ownership of them. That's a beautiful, beautiful strength. Hiya, Anthony. I'm doing good today, chicken. Hiya, sweet pea. How did you sleep, my love? Oh, it's the middle of the night there, though, isn't it? Where we, what, we 2 a.m.? 1, 2 a.m. Anthony, thank you for the roses. Mr. Man, I do be the same. I deal a lot with my own problems and I don't want to burden people. This is why I come to TikTok. I don't want to go to anybody specific, right? Because it's it's usually my issue. If I have, have an issue, it's my issue, it's my responsibility to heal that. But it's okay to share it, right? Sometimes, right, we, our, our pain can cause pain to other people and the way that we can project our pain there's a healthy way to, 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 to share your pain. There's a very, very healthy way and there's a very, very unhealthy way to share our pain. Right, and I'm learning so much to redirect my pain to help me rather than to hinder me. Right, not to make me suffer no more than I have to. That's the learning in the process that we all just need to learn from our mental health or we all need to learn from our issues and what's coming up regardless of right now. Thank you so much, Anthony McCarthy. Thank you so much, Sweepy433. It's it's late. <sighs> just someone to talk to as a friend we lack, right? If, one, if, if everybody in the world just had that one person, Raquel, if every single person, like there's 8 billion people in the world, if every single person just had that one safe person, if anybody go check out my last video as well, beautiful people, because I'd seen a video of somebody being asked a question of why do you carry so much of your past and your trauma around with you? Because they didn't have a safe place to lay it down. Right? And that really resonated. I was like, it, I was like, I carried the weight of the world on my shoulders for, for so, so long. The protection, the protection, all I needed was just these behaviours of protection that my brain was telling me, you need to protect yourself right now, when I didn't. But I walked around with the weight of the world on my shoulders and since I found this space, I've been able to let go of it bit by bit. By putting my feet to the ground, to the universe, by meditating, by solitude, by living in a beautiful environment and living with nature and trusting the process. Just fucking everybody else off and taking just time for me. And it's just Uncle Liam and the doggies. That's all I've did for the last four years. More, six years in all that I've looked after Uncle Liam, but like, for here, four years. And it hasn't did me wrong. I've worshipped this beautiful space. I've given so much gratitude for the tiny. I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing, right? But I am in abundance in everything. <laughs> I am abundant in everything, but I have absolutely nothing. But you know what I'm abundant in? Love, joy, peace, contentment, enlightenment. That's what I'm full of. I still have anger. I still have resentment. I still have pain. I still have fear. I still have a bit of shame and I still have a bit of guilt. But see all of these low ones? All of the love, the joy, the, the enlightenment, the peace. I give it all to all of these low vibrations. But it hires my vibration and it keeps me in 
an okay positive mindset right that where I can be happy enough but I can still be sad and upset about things I can still be sad and I still need to feel all that I need to feel but I'm still happy enough I've got so much that I have gained internally not externally not like oh my god I have a TV and oh my god I have a mobile phone and oh my god I have a car and oh my god I have a house oh my god I've got these brand new shoes and oh my god I've got these gorgeous clothes right not materialistic not not external anything external is there to distract you in the highest form no matter what it is that your eyes see there to distract you from you people environments, places, things, materialistic stuff, advertising, boom, 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 technology, feed, 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 distract, 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 keep them from knowing themselves, keep them from knowing themselves, right, it's, it's all a lie, this is literally a whole fucking big joke, a whole big joke, do you know what Jackie, I've said this before, I said a stranger will take your burden more than somebody you know and love. A stranger will give you more validation and reassurance. And do you know why a stranger does that? Because they know, they feel it. That's why. It's, it's called empathy and it's called feeling for others, right? And that stranger is probably lonely and feeling the exact same themselves and that's why they relate. We love the open chats, Tara. Raquel, thank you so much. I love my good vibes. Hiya, Bella. Thank you for the heart, me, Lily. Thank you so much, chicken. You just became 158 on the members team. Congratulations, my love. Don't believe in counseling somebody getting pain to listen doesn't seem to be genuine to me getting paid to listen right you see this is the whole thing if if you had somebody that would just listen without being paid this is, i don't believe in psychiatrists because there's an awful lot not that i don't believe in them right they're textbook an awful lot of them could be 25 years of age and trying to textbook counsel me and experience goes more than practical i think theory or practical theory is i'm always getting confused between theory and practical and i know the difference it's like left and right right? Theory is the textbook, practical work, right? So practical, practice, practice, that's how I do it. Practice, 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 that is practical, right? The more you practice something, the more you get good at things. Like, the more you communicate, the better you get at it. The more you express yourself, the better you will get. Practice, practice, practice on yourself. Every single thing, like, and even practice speaking to yourself. Like, you are the counsellor because there's an inner child in there that needs to be healed that you need to speak to and love and to hold, to cherish, to tell that little girl she or little boy that he or she is okay. So it's good practice in yourself to become the counsellor. <laughs> Right, you are. Everybody is the counselor. Everybody has it within them. Everybody has love and joy and peace. You were born with love, joy, and peace. Right, and usually to the end of your days, you will die with that too. You won't die with the. You will though, because your soul moves on as well. If if your soul is contracted here to do certain things, and it does doesn't live out its soul purpose or your life's purpose, so you've got two purposes and two missions when you come here. You've got your soul purpose, which that's usually revealed when you when you gain your own purposes and your own passions. Then your soul purpose will be revealed to you after you do all of your stuff and your beautiful things on this earth. Then your soul purpose and your mission is revealed to you. I put counselling yourself starts with you, Mr. Man. Like it started with me. I've counselled myself. I've spoke myself. I've talked to myself. I've loved myself. I've reassured myself. I've validated myself. I've told myself it's okay. No matter what way I'm feeling, whether it's anger, whether it's resentment, it is okay. We've always been told it's not okay to feel. And especially the anger, especially the resentment, especially the fear, especially the guilt, especially the shame. You should not feel that. Right, and if you are going to feel it, you should be in a fucking room on your own. Right, and that's not right. That is not right. But it is, it's manipulation and mind control. So it's been done for many years. It's our grandparents, our parents, our grandparents before them, the conditioning of the mind control, TJ. This is why we feel the way we feel and why we are who we are. We have to unlearn all of that shit, relearn who we are, and it starts with us. We can't search that. That's why the external world is there to distract you from yourself, right? It's all there as a huge fucking manipulative distraction to keep you from knowing what and who you are and why you are here. 
Do you ever ask yourself that question, why are we here? What is my purpose? Right? Question, question, question. Raquel, thank you so much. Checking me 40 odd comments to get through. Beautiful people, I'm not ignoring anyone. Raquel with the share. I always say mental health is like a person you're in a relationship with. It, it is. It is KK because it's the conscious and the subconscious. If you're awake, right, but mental health is a, is a suffering battle of the subconscious cycle and patterns and loops. Subconscious, 95% of your brain. Conscious thinking, logical thinking, conscious, 5% of your brain, right? And that, that says it all. That says a bit with the conditioning. If you didn't have conditioning, it would be the opposite way that you would be using logical conscious thinking and you would switch it around to about 50-50. Where subconscious, yes, we know we do, and we can be very, very aware. But subconscious is means you're not aware. Subconscious is we don't even know we're doing it. James, hiya, James. Hiya, Corrine, I'm doing okay today. Day by day, right, Tara? Love and light, we learn to respond and not react. In certain ways, Adria, in certain ways we do, the more that we heal, the more that we respond, the more that we can take ourselves out of situations and know, well, we have a choice, right? Knowing and being aware that we have a choice to respond or react, right? And there's opposites. <laughs> there's a complete opposite, like to positive, to negative, to hot, to cold, to, to, to everything. There's an exact opposite. Why do you think that there's an exact opposite in this universe? <laughs> Polar opposites like that. Because they can both be done, not simultaneously, <laughs> but you can balance the two. I've just learned to cope with it. Life can't be all fun. We need struggle. It makes us stronger. It's the balance of it. We can't have all light and beautiful experiences. We can make them all because we can take positive out of the dark ones. So like, if we know, right, because like we're, we're so instilled with fear, we're so conditioned with fear, put the fucking fear of God in him through the school system. When I mean it was way worse going back like fucking 60 to 80 years ago, it was way worse in the school systems. So worse, they got beaten, they got begrudged, they got fucking manipulated, they got beaten down, they got put down. Fucking, it was horrible, horrible, hor I feel what other people went through in the schooling system years ago. It's not as bad now today, but teachers are still horrible. Teachers are still low vibration. If you're not academically correct for school, you're fucked, basically, right? And you're made feel like you're fucked, that you're not worthy. You're not worthy to be in this class because you can't do it, right? You can't do some of the, the, you can't either, you can do one or two and then you can't do three or four. Some things you're not meant to do. I was never meant to do maths. I have not got a clue. I count numbers on my fingers. I cannot do maths. Some things you are not meant to know. And don't make anybody let you make you feel less of anything because you don't know it. Some things you're not meant to know. Some things you're never meant to know. And when you are meant to know, the universe will let you know. Honestly. Because like, don't be searching for the things that you can't do. Right? Never judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree. A fish will keep it on thinking it's stupid its whole life, right? Sarah, thank you for the follow, chicken. Thank you, Jackie. I know, Bobby, I know. We'll, we'll be a counsellor on here for free for people. I think that I met you in Bussaris. I don't think so, Abby. I don't know if I... I've, don't be in Bussaris, chicken. I've slowly studied psychology. I've studied the things that I've wanted to through psychology. I've studied behaviour. I've studied uh, body language. Um, I've studied an awful, awful lot to do with between the mind and behaviour and subconscious behaviour. Um, I've studied an awful lot. Thank you, Adria. Thank you so much. You're practical. That's why I love writing. So we don't do, I can't do books. I cannot do textbook, I cannot sit at a fucking table even to do a book, I can't even read a book. I'd have to have it read to me, <laughs> right? So I learned through different ways. So I couldn't learn in school the way that they, the, the way that they wanted me to. I rebelled against school. I didn't get as much conditioning through school. I, I did have an awful lot of inferiority complexes, so much, because the way I thought and the way I'd been taught by others, not like I taught myself this, this is, I've been taught this by others, that if you're not academically correct, 
right? Even though I'm emotionally correct, but they thought, no, you can't show your emotions. I was punished for my emotions and I wasn't academically incorrect. So I was punished, punished, punished. I could never do fucking wrong or right, right? And I know this, I know this. I know my worth now compared to then. I do not have inferiority complexes. I did, but I've healed them as well. Nobody can make me feel something I don't need to once I own it. <laughs> What's the crack, Alex? Therapy should be about talking, healing, not about getting people back to work. In just my opinion, exactly, Jackie. Thank you, thank you, Emer. Thank you so much. Hiya, Alex. New account, new me. There you go, chicken. I always think of people in Africa and think about however bad we have it is a lot worse. I do think an awful lot of that too, my love. I am just now learning shadow work. My sweet inner child has been hidden for so long. I've had brought out my inner child for maybe the last year and a half, two years. Maybe a bit more. M more, more inner work, because like it was just outer. I've like my bike and the clothes I wear, the shoes I wear, are all very, very childlike. Um, I am still a little girl inside. I haven't grown up. I just, I still feel like that. I am that person. I am very, very childlike and I want to stay very childlike. Why would I want to get old and angry and resent? That's all I... There's some people that are really old that are re very resentful, very bitter. Like, and I was only just thinking about this yesterday as well, about reflections, right? Reflections are... are, are reflections of other people or are who we are, who we don't want to, who, who we don't want to be, who we were, right, and who we can be. Right, that's what people are reflections, any people that come into our lives, right? Now, shadow work is, is really, really good. I've, like, when I mean for the last two years, I've did nothing but shadow work on myself. So much to be able to come with the experience that we do for other people. But it's so, right, I always felt alone in how that I was thinking and feeling when I came to TikTok like a year and three months ago, right? I thought I felt so, so, so alone. Nobody connected with me. Nobody, just everybody thought I was crazy, right? And in the way that I felt and because of how I started to live and they're just like, this yoke is fucking bonkers. And I'm like, yeah, maybe I am. Do you know what I mean? But I still have to do what I do to make me know that, yeah, I can do this. Yeah, I can do that. No, nobody can stop me from doing this. But this, what this has created, the compulsion to do this has created the peace and the love and the joy that I have gained. So why wouldn't I have not? Why, why would I want to stop? Why would I want to stop when I've gained so much than lost anything? Jess with the follow, thank you so much. I know, Sean, but it, look at deeply it's up to you and it's your responsibility to heal yourself my love right and the people that really love you hurt you the most they're the ones that you learn from the most as well right and if they are your true true and you're your true friend they will trigger you an awful lot they will do but it's up to you to heal yourself and come back even stronger my love and to know right to have that inner knowing and awareness but you're aware of how much your friends have hurt you Right, but be aware of your own behaviour and your own patterns to know yourself, my love. It's well easier to guide a situation when you know and you are aware. Hiya, Vessi. Hiya, Shell. How are you, chicken? Are you with the dog? My, I'm on my own with my dogs too, Raquel. Hiya, Sabrina. How are you, my love? Every day, Jackie, every day. Yeah, I don't know why I'm here. Your purposes. Your life purpose is first, your passion. You find something you love, Liz. You act on it to the best of your abilities, right? Find something you love and let it kill you, right? And that's what they say, find a job you love, you'll never have to work again, right? And that would be your own purpose. But if you cannot find a purpose or a passion, let you be the purpose and the passion. If you are the purpose and the passion, believe me, you'll find a lot more in that that will open up so much of another internal world, internal and not external. There's nothing external. Everything for you to heal is free. Nature will call you. You can go sit and be in nature. Right? Solitude in nature is absolutely amazing. Let your mind be free in the forest. Ask yourself every day. See you later, Kira. See you later, chicken. Thank you, Liz, with the heart puff. Oh, I'm telling you, I do sleep. My sleep does be, depending on where the moon is. 
before the two weeks before the moon, I'm okay. But the two weeks before the full moon, my my sleep gets really fucked up, and the week after the moon, so I like I get like two weeks of okay sleep, and then three weeks of broken sleep, and then two weeks of okay sleep. That's what I've kind of started to realize. Liz with the hair puff, thank you. Good afternoon, Julie. Scared of sleeping because my dreams on a different plane, but your dreams can speak to you too, Raquel. Your dreams can speak to you too in many magnitudes. Yeah, your parents, right? So, like, this is the whole thing. Not a lot of us know what our parents went through in school. Their schooling would have been a lot worse than ours. Their conditioning would have been a lot worse than ours, right? And I'm 45, so I'm going back, let's say, another 30 years before that, right? Another 20 years before that. Like, when the school, like, they, they use fucking weapons on kids. Like, they use whips, and ropes and lock them in cage or lock them in cupboards and do you know what I mean? So it's like we don't know what condition we do know, right? I know, <laughs> right? That was huge, right? And this is going back even let's say a hundred years ago, right? So like this is going back to your grandparents, your parents, your great grandparents, your great great grandparents. This is generational trauma of torture that we have suffered. Right, and there was a guy came in here like and said, I think you're quite mistaken on how how much trauma and how much generational trauma there is in this country. Are you fucking serious? For 400 fucking years, we have been oppressed and depressed and suppressed. Nobody can speak emotion. It, 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 you're, it's not good to show anger. It's not good to show fucking resentment. Yes, it is if it's helping you to get over it. Right, if you're just going to release and have that release and say that's it then or have to release even in your own space in your own four walls, of course it's good to release it, release it. Do not suppress it. Suppression is the biggest torture and mental torture for your mind. Rulers bored rubbers when you couldn't do your maths, got it? <laughs> I used to just do have a pen and write um one, two, I used to do just scratches on the on the page. How and I used to do maybe let's say if I was doing maths and I used to have the top of the page and I just used to do all ones. And then I used to do, if it was seven plus three, I used to do seven ones. And then I used to count them up then. <laughs> Just a circle of seven and circle of five. And then count all them up. <laughs> That's exactly how I used to do my math in school. Now, if it was lower numbers, I could do ten. But if it was in the twenties, maybe I could do it on my hands. But then I get confused when I get past the third hand. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, fuck, I've lost count. The teacher wouldn't even give you an abacus. That's the whole thing. When they knew that you couldn't do maths... They only gave the abacuses to the ones who could actually do maths because, like, if they did, and this is now, this is brilliant, this is huge condition for the elite. If they see that you can do abacuses really well, that's when you get moved up in class. That's why the abacuses are there, they're tests. They give you tests. Because, like, some people won't even know what to do in an abacus, and some kids will just, like, oh, fucking shit, I got this, right? And some, what you're meant to know, you're meant to know. Some you're not. Some things you're not. I am not meant to know maths. Yes, I'm meant to know numbers, but I am not meant to know maths. Not at all. They have never served me any purpose in my life. Numbers, yes. Synchronicities, yes. <laughs> what numbers mean, yes. But to add them, to the fuck. <laughs> right? I climbed my feeling butterfly tree and fell out. Ah. Oh. I love um, history, but never read, right? So, like, I didn't like history in school. Didn't like history, but I like history now. The history that I want to learn, not the history that they wanted me to learn. That's conditioning. Jackie, thank you for the heart, me chicken. Thank you, Sophie. Hi, my love. It's, it is, but it's, it's a teaching of conditioning for the elites. They're not conditioning them for... They're not, you're not conditioned in school for yourself, to go for yourself. You're conditioned to go for the elites, to work for some, for a system. That's where you're conditioned for, to work for a system that will give the elites money, that will leave you fucked up in 30, 40 years' time, or you'll get fed up three or four years after, you're, after you've did your, your PhD or your, your degree, and four or five years you get bored of that, and you say, what the fuck am I doing? And then you go into something completely different. So schooling does not make a fucking difference. And to have these kids stressed out, to have them fucking carrying books all over the place, to have them fucking... They do. They, they have them bollocksed, even by the time that they get to fucking uh, do a degree, that they're even able for it. Hiya, Tash. Good afternoon, chicken. Hiya, Kaz. I've got 52 comments to get through, so I'm not ignoring anyone. My God, Shelley. My God, yeah. Yeah. 
I know. I, uh, do you know what's such a beautiful empath, though, you have in, his, in your son, Raquel? Keep him safe, my love. He's very sensitive. I'm 52 and I'm immature, especially when I'm with my... I love being immature. Why not? Why not just being that little girl, like, but immature in some ways, like, that where it's not going to cause anybody, right? So, like, your immaturity can, just depends on you and your environment and who you're with. But as long as we're not affecting anybody with our immaturities, we're good. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I've, anything I've wanted to know, I've taught myself. I have learned through a few people, but so much. Yeah, the brain doesn't, the do, age is not um, physical. We don't feel it. Yeah, learn my own way. They're true, true, just writing dots. How are you, Dara? Or dashes. And I said, no, you'd let them starve. Yeah. What would he do, right? Thank you, Kay Maria. Thank you so much, chicken. Enjoy. Just, alcohol would have been used as a drug, right? As a truth seeker and a truth speaker is what alcohol was used for. And it wasn't even called alcohol. It was ethanol back in the day. So if you do your history on alcohol and exactly see what it was for, it's a fucking demon in itself. Leah, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you with the hair puffs, Kay Maria. Over in the UK that they wear as well, shock treatment. Shock treatment. This is but like this is the people that were called crazy. This was the people that was speaking the truth back in the day. Right? There was truth seekers and truth speakers that were punished, that were fucking take their lives were taken, that they were given fucking shock treatment and electrocuted. You'll just stay there like a zombie now in yourself for the rest of your life. Like and nobody will know your truth. But the truth is that's that the people need to speak the truth. Because the truth is what's gonna open up all of this. Right? My mother went to her grave with her truth. So did my father. They would never got to speak their truths. Right, and we that's all we do, we, we speak. We speak so somebody else might not feel alone because of the torture and the suffering that we have. Nobody needs to be tortured, nobody needs to suffer and we can spread that light that you know that you don't have to suffer, my love. Nobody does, nobody, nobody, nobody has to suffer. And believe me when I say that I suffered so fucking much in my life through the fucking hands of other people, but I'm accountable to heal it. I cannot be bitter, I cannot be resentment. I, I can, right, but to feel it, to process it, yes, but I will not project that. I will project the knowledge I took from it and how I expressed it and how I got through the process. <coughs> <coughs> right, Sky? We understand and know, but in Ireland this happens so much, Sky, all over the world. Canada, America, Australia, right? All over Europe. This is why churches and, 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 and Christianity and Catholicism spread throughout the world, right? Everything was taken and turned around to suit their narrative for how that they could condition people, how that they could fear people, how that they could take over people. How that they can just make them sit in their little boxes and go to fucking work all day and then put them back in four walls and then put them back in work and fucking, right? Systems. All fucking systems. Everything is a system and everything is a failed system at that. The only system that works is for the elite and that's who you're working for, the system and the elite of what? What are you gaining from this? Me too, KK. Jelly Bean, thank you for the follow, chicken. User 5398, thank you for the follow. Hi, Eliza. Eliza, thank you so much. How did you end up here? Not sound rude. I did, um, I house fire, Alicia. One of the best things that ever happened to me, it was an omen, an absolute omen, right? Because I couldn't go back to the place I got hurt from. I couldn't heal there, could I? Right, I could not heal. I'd lost everything. i lost everything and I'd been picked up out of one place. And dropped into another load of fucking chaos, mind. Load of chaos. It's like the universe. This is what I was saying yesterday. The universe, as I said, you want to practice being good, right? Because like, this is what I said. I will never hurt another person as long as I live, right? I will never go out intentionally to hurt, to lie, to do anything to another person, right? 
because I owned an awful lot of my shit that I did to my ex-girlfriend and, and couldn't express myself, right? And we had this, that was 16 years I was with her first of all, I had a relationship breakdown and I didn't want to be in the house that we had spent eight years and that I just couldn't and the low vibration of this, like the, the whole environment was low vibration. It was just like, I need to get out of this. I feel suffocated, I feel suffocated. And within three months of splitting up with my ex, um, the house fire happened, the beast from the east. And yeah, they, they wouldn't transfer me to North Wicklow. Um, so they'd only transfer me to North Wexford, which wasn't close enough to my uncle. So I had to give up an eight year lease to come up on a 14 to 20 year waiting list in here in Wicklow. But yeah, that's how I put uh, everything happened for a reason. This is what I said. I know now why that happened. Because I'm here. Because <laughs> I'm so safe for the last four years. I sofa surfed for three and a half years. I'm homeless seven years. I sofa surfed for three and a half years. And then I was compulsed to camp. Compulsed. I needed nature. I needed outdoors. I needed air. I needed the ocean. I needed the trees. I needed the birds. I needed the sun. I needed the moon. I needed the sky. I needed the grass. I needed the earth. I needed it all. And now I know why I needed it. Now I know why I'm healing, I'm growing, I've gained so much peace, love, joy. I have nothing, but I have gained everything. If anybody is, has heard about um, all is nothing and all is everything, I have nothing. I have absolutely nothing. If I left here, I have me and my two doggies. Nothing. But I am abundant in everything because it's peace, joy, love, contentment, enlightenment. And as I said, I own all of the lower vibrations. I own the shame. I own the fear. I own the guilt. I have no fear. Right? I have no fear. I've trusted the process and the universe has absolutely blessed me. Absolutely blessed me. Right, I was thrown in the back of the class too, Jelly Bean. I was too. Education has changed and thankfully in recent times the focus about starting where it's, it's still conditioning though, Fitz. It's still conditioning, Fiona. That's the thing, it is still, still mass, mass, mass conditioning going on through the schools. It's not through religion now, but through the phone. Fucking hell. Through technology. Technology is kind of taken over between education and technology and government. The government is part of the technology and the education, right? I'm the same with maths. I'm on less, I'm dyslexic, the numbers, to be honest. Go on down, go on down. In some ways, yes, they do, but that, that's still to trick you, Fiona. It's much more focused on the individual. It's still to trick you. It's still to make you think that they care, but they don't. Because, like, if they didn't give a shit like they did 50 years ago, it wouldn't be accepted right now. So they have to conform in some way to make you think, yeah, that you're getting a better bargain out of this. Because, oh, yeah, my God, they, they care about us now. They don't care, fucking care about you, Fiona. They do not. It's still conditioning at its best a tutor in school so I could pass my exams. My boy, both my boys had tutors, had um, SNAs and dropped out right sober. And now eight years later I'm doing beauty therapy and that's why I hate <laughs> corrupt, 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 corrupt. Thank you, Jackie, thank you. Institutional religion is not a good place. Spirituality is super, I'm telling you, Fiona. Adam with the share. Can you dye your hair blue? I would, I would, no, you're okay, chicken. I would not dye my hair. Personal opinion, the Bible is just, a, it's a, do you know what the Bible is? Chinese fucking whispers. That's what I've always called the Bible, Chinese whispers. Thank you, Ains. Hey, Leon in Portugal. Sarah. Oh, you're after doing it again. You see, you can't storm, no. Nope. You're after doing it again. Come on, up. Up. Now, lie down. Lie down. She's after doing it again, locking her. She, she goes, she tries to get in under the bed, and then she can't get in under the bed, and then the lead has kind of gone in and is zigzag. Now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, VJW. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. I am good, Laura. How are you, chicken? I do. I've got two doggies. Oh, my God, it's so warm. I need to go get a T-shirt on, guys. Hot flush.
keep tapping the screen there for a second. Hot flush. Here the dogs are good, chicken. The dogs are good. Hello, Thomas. Bex, how can I let go of the guilt of having chronic illness? I feel so bad. My family. My illness is there to learn from as much as your mental health is, Laura. This is the thing, my love. Your illnesses are there to learn from. And for your family to learn from too. To learn more compassion, more love. Um, illnesses are there to teach us so, so, so much. I know I'm... I'm so hot. The heat. We might move it out there, actually. Do you know that? Hello, Jax, from Leeds in England. The doggies are just asleep, kind of, their storm. Look. <laughs> Sky is laying down. She's trying to get down on the ground now. No, she's not. She's going to lay down there, look. She's like, I'll lay down here. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank you, Jelly Bean. Um, I'm sorry, it's, it's okay. Follow me when you need to. You just, we don't ask for anything. All that we ask is that you speak, right? And speak in good, beautiful, positive vibes. We give all of our darkness some beautiful love. We don't ask anybody. Just tap the shit out of the screen and talk to us and throw a follow, right? That's all that we ask for. Corrupt as fuck, I know, cat. We've spoke about this before. My dogs are good, Kira. Yeah, me too, Kathleen. The anger issue is not so much now, but I do have anger in me. I do, but it comes out when it's needed and not when it's not. Thank you. Thank you, Jelly Bean. I am camping, Logan. I saw them. Did you saw them? Thank you, Southern Belle with the rose. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, a sad. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, a sad. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, a sad. Giddy up, a sad. Giddy up, squish. School is hard, I know, Kathleen. I had dyslexia, but this is where I said there's just some things that we're not meant to know, and some things we are. Kevin with the follow, thank you so much. We will, Laura, we will. Strawberry Anna, how are you, chicken? Full stretchy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't do solar mags, not yet. Thank you, Kenny, with the roses, chicken. I have ADHD too, chicken. I am, I feel, I do, I love, I speak, I see, I know. I am you. I feel you. You do you. I love you. I'll speak through you. I see you and I know you. We know you. Consciousness contained by Michelle. Oh my God, oh, completely yellow vest Ireland. If you're woke, you're woke and you will know this. <laughs> but if you're not woke, you'll still be a robot in a fucking system. Welcome, Southern Belle. Welcome. Thank you so much. Do your live. Do you live there? I do, Kevin. I do. Remembering everyone. Oh, look, I'm back to the bottom again. Remembering everyone that is beautiful. Mantra Bex taught me. Oh, thank you. I got it from, I got it from the internet, so it's not my mantra. May everyone have a blessed day. Namaste. My soul recognises your soul. Namaste. Motherfuckers. I had a t-shirt that said that. <laughs> Namaste, motherfuckers. Now, right, schmuck. We've been talking a lot, guys, now, so we've been talking. Oh, 13, 13 on the clock. 13, 13, I like that. 1, 1, 3, 3. Where are you, lighter? Where are you? <laughs> um, I what? Laura with the follow, thank you so much. You are... Nice. Ah, oh, thank you, Kevin. Thank you. You are nice. You are nice, too. 
Hello, fellow Aquarius. How are you, Laura? Where the fuck is my lighter? And I saw I found the light and it found me. You found the light and it found you. Hiya, Amy. Are you okay, chicken? Kitty oak, kitty oak, kitty up a side, kitty oak, kitty oak, kitty up a side, kitty oak, kitty oak, kitty up a side. Kitty up a side. Fucking hell here, will you start where you are? So little bits keep on going on the on the top of this. So my head is touching up my head. Yes, I am, Kathleen. Hey Shaza. Every second day I share go over my uncle's chicken. Shazza with the follow, thank you. Did you say you were in the weekly rankings in the past? Yes, we did them all last year, chicken. We did them all last year, all the yokies, but we don't do anything to do with competitions now. We are not competitive. We are all equal. I'm off to ride my horse. Enjoy your horse, Tara. Singing your song. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, I said. Giddy up, I said. Hi, Ali. Yeah, we don't do anything to do with the rankings now. It's all too competitive. It's all too toxic. Um, anything to do with people manipulating, doing battles on fucking screen, we don't do. I can't do people on screen. <laughs> I can do them plenty in real life. <laughs> oh, chaotic energy. So much. Thank you for the rose, Tara. But yeah, uh, so manipulative energy as well. Manipulative and chaotic. <laughs> we don't do that here. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't watch any of it. It's, it's like, unless you have a beautiful niche that you're coming to the screen with, like the singing. Singing is beautiful, right? And you can go battle and doing your songs and everything like that, like Stephen Pepper does, like Nicole Mannix. Beautiful, beautiful people that have beautiful, beautiful voices that have a beautiful personality and a beautiful niche. That's what you need for platforms, not toxic chaos or drama. Yeah, right. Hiya, Mimi. Welcome to our beautiful safe space. Hello, AP. But yeah, we don't manipulate. We don't. The, the, the worst that we'll do with you is we'll ask you to go look at yourself more. <laughs> That's the worst that'll happen here. You, you, we'll ask you to go internal, to go heal yourself, to go give yourself a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful love. <laughs> stick, yeah, stick to gig, because like this app can take you down a wrong path. Stick to what you can learn from and not to what you can't. To know what's going to keep you stuck and toxicity and chaos keeps you stuck. Yeah, you can learn a lot. Right, you can learn from some, you will not learn from others. <laughs> yeah, because I've, I've learned. <laughs> I did it last year and I did it to people, please. I did an awful lot of the screen time to people, please, and the, the battling. Because it was true other people, I never decided to go because it was in the background it had been said to me. Right? Through manipulation of other people. They knew that I could bring in the money. That was the thing. They knew. Right? And I was like, I did. That's where we turned off all our gifts. We turned off everything. And there was a lady that, that, that unalived herself last year because of 60 grand's worth of debt that creators, Irish creators first were manipulating money and then she went to the UK when the Irish creators wouldn't help her when she reached out. She reached out for help and the Irish creators fucked her off because she wouldn't give them any more money. Because they wouldn't give her any help. That's where she was buying their help. To reach out and she couldn't even tell her family members and it came out on screen. It came out all on screen. She didn't even, her family didn't even know. Exactly. That's why we have fuck all to do with the bastard movie. We don't ask. It's nothing to do with the money. It's all to do with the people. The people, your energy and your time. It's way valuable than any money that ever, ever comes in on this page. 
Yeah, I do know that. That's why I switch back on my gifts, Laura. Right? I do. I know I do deserve. I know I do. But at the same time, I don't want to ask people for nothing. Right? I ask them for their time and their energy, and that's all I've ever asked for or follow. Right? That's your time and your energy and your beautiful, beautiful comments. Your kind, kind, positive comments. I did eight months. We had them switched off for Laura. Eight months, my love. Thank you, Strawberry Anna. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Mum. Thank you, Alan. If people know manipulation, right, and can see manipulation, right, and manipulation can be done in a really nice way as well, right, we could be mentioning, we don't even mention anything to do, it's other people that mention the gifts, right, it's other people that bring up the topic of the gifts, we don't even bring up topic of the gifts at all, there's no topic of any gifts or anybody saying anything about the gifts, we, that's the only thing we do, we thank people for them. Shows my character, Laura. My genuinity, my realness. <laughs> and it, it, some of it can be done very, very supple. Very, very much Sinead. Lindsay with the follow, thank you so much. It is. It's the dopamine, the, the, the recognition, the validation, right? So we want people to come to beautiful spaces for validation that they don't have to pay for. That they can get it for free. Thank you, Mum of Six Comedy Ticks. Thank you, thank you, Chicken. Well, you became 159 on the members team. Congratulations. Some people don't even thank people for even, you know, like the 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 the, the team members, the braces. Some people don't even add, thank people for them. I I welcome and congratulate you on everything. You're a member of the team, but it's not a team. We're a beautiful community. Right, in a beautiful, safe space. It's nothing to do. That's manipulation in itself. You're a team member. You're a part of this big thing. Why are you part of fucking putting money in other people's pockets? Right, they're manipulating you. Ah, oh, thank you, Mum. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mum. But that that's like even like a fucking rose, right? Somebody took their time, their energy, that is their money to give it to you. And you can't even say thank you for the small gifts and you just that's just saying what you're there for. You're not there for the roses, right? <laughs> you're not there for the unicorns and the rainbows, right? <laughs> We've always been here for the people. We will always be here for the people. The chat box drives our life. I don't ever have an intention when I come on. I just have an intention that we're going to speak. And we're going to talk. And the chat box drives the life every single time. Yeah, I've watched an awful lot of Teal Swan stuff as well. Right? Same, not that I was roped in, you see. This is the whole thing. Anything that I gifted, I gifted with good intent. And um, what's no, she's a person. She's a person. If you look her up on YouTube there, she she talks an awful lot of um, about healing and vulnerability and spirituality and inner child stuff and a lot of things like that. There was an awful lot gone on with her that, um, that she wasn't who she said she was. Yeah, right, so, like, the, right, this was the whole thing, like, right? Like, even small creators, right? If they have an intention, right, this is the whole thing, Laura. What you need to be aware of is their niche, right? Are they selling themselves for the right reasons, right? Or are they selling themselves to the fucking devil for just a bit of money, right? And just to manipulate other people. So, as I said, if you've got a great niche and you're singing and you're doing stuff, but they... The, the creator still needs to give back to people, right? And if you're in battles and on screen with people, you can't give to your people on the screen. If you have like 80 to 100 people, there's no way that you can keep on screen with someone else and keep to your comments. There's no way that can be done. And a small creator, even like, let's say like myself, right? That 
We create beautiful experiences. We inspire people to heal themselves. We inspire others to do better. We don't come and create chaos and drama and hatred and resentment and bitterness just because somebody else is. We don't come here to manipulate either, right? To know, oh yeah, we can gain from this. We can gain so much from this. Is it not good? I didn't see the documentary now, Rosie. Thank you, Mum of Six. Isabel with the brat, thank you. Thank you, Isabel. I know, Laura. <laughs> Nata, thank you with the follow, chicken. Yeah, thanks, Jackie. Right. But it wasn't a small friendly team anymore like it was at first. That's when the money came into it, right? That's when the money came into it. I, I, yeah. And the rankings, that's another manipulation. Do you know what I mean? Oh, let, let us get first, let us get this. Like, and competitiveness is a need of the ego. The ego is competitive, not the, not the heart or the soul. The soul is not competitive. Your soul will not be competitive with no. That's why I stepped out. I did four of the rankings and three of them I stepped out of on the Friday. I didn't give a shit. I stepped back. Have it. Fucking have it. And that's the exactly ego is all that takes over, Sinead. It's like I, I, I have nothing to do with ego. Small bit, but not like that. He... He handles it well, he's nice, but it wobbled him a lot and I don't know how he does it. It's too much, right? So that's up to themselves though. Like if he handles it well, he handles it well. So um, it's up to the creator, I suppose, isn't it? But um, yeah, it's, it's just not nice being manipulated. Yeah, to ramp up the drama. Exactly, Laura. Amanda, hi Amanda. We do, but an awful lot of people won't even admit to their ego. Yeah. I can be sensitive in some ways and, and not sensitive in others. And I understand sensitivity when you know. Sensitivity is when you can be like triggered just like fucking straight away. Just one word. And it's just like, oh, for fuck's sake. Right? So like that's very, very sensitive. Very, very now. Very, very surface level. <laughs> very, very what's needing to be dealt with now. <laughs> So that's all that that tells you, is sen what sensitivity tells you. It's, it's a great learner is sensitivity. I did, but Lord, you know what? I made the best decision for me and the people, right? To keep the page safe because it was a safe space and it became a safe space within two, three weeks of being on live, right? We were doing a lot, a lot of hours. We were putting a lot, a lot of effort in. But it was more about the people. That's why I said when I was doing all the split screens, I wanted the people. I didn't want the split screen. So then when I stopped the battling, right, and then I stopped the split screen, I was like, I don't. And I haven't did a split screen. I only did split screens for about maybe three, four months. I, I stopped doing them. And if anybody was going to be affected by me not going split screen with them, that was their issue. It becomes something else, right? But we didn't give it to something else to make it something or to make it everything. We gave it nothing to make it everything that it is now. <laughs> That's the truth, right? We gave it nothing to make it what it is now. So it's everything to us now because we gave it nothing. <laughs> I love that, though. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Are you Aquarius, too? We're from perfect, but our heart is in the right place. Yeah. Exactly. Hey, Rory. A lot of people do, do that. Like, they move from place to place. They, they move with, with what their, their body feels, right? That you're not drawn into the feed. That you're not hook, line, and sinker. Like, the fishing rope reel you in. You were only reeled in for so long, up until it became what it wasn't. Do you know what I mean? And up what you didn't feel right with. 
Because you have to feel right. And especially if you're coming to the screen and you're coming to a page, you have to feel right. You have to feel safe. You have to feel... You have to feel like that that you're validated or that that you that you're wanted in a certain place, because then you don't feel like that. You're like everybody wants to be made feel special, right? And the gifting thing makes other people feel special. But every single person, whether you have no followers, whether you have a follower, you are going to be made special in this room. Every single one of you, every single person in this room, is made feel the same way. Right, and nobody does that. I have not seen any other creators that do that for their spaces. Even with the fake accounts. We're even beautiful to the fake accounts. We love people spamming, right? We don't block much, we only block negativity, right? So what the space is, has been created by you and by me, but we gave it absolutely nothing in the direction of chaos and drama and we gave it everything in love and positivity and peace and joy and look what this space is. It just goes to show. Thank you, Laura. You have a beautiful weekend too, chicken. Hiya, Esther. Hiya, Sinead. Have a great weekend too. Caleb, thank you so much with the GGs. Thank you. Because even if you know us as well, right? I don't look at how many people is in. I don't be looking at who's in. I don't be looking at what gift and badges they have. I do be looking at the love and the likes and I do be looking and concentrating and super hyper focused on the comments, on the people. You'll never even see me looking at myself. Right? You'll always see me looking down here. Right, Laura with the follow, thank you so much. Thank you, Calum. Right, I don't concentrate on who's on. Who's on does the host button and the guest button down here. They're always looking here. They're always up here. Who's in the room? Who's stalking me? Who's a fake account? Who has zero followers? Block them. Who has this? Who has that? It's like, get the fuck down off yourself. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like, you make yourself feel that important that, oh, oh my God, I can't have these people watching me. I can't have a fake account watching me. People are going to always make fake accounts. <laughs> People are always going to watch, right? You can't distract the people from watching. But give them some love and light. Show some love and light to their darkness. Because that's all they come with is darkness. They're so distracted by other things, right? And th th these lives are meant to put on to distract you. Even the gifting thing, the tapping thing, the likes, the fucking people. There's so much going on in front of you. It's made to distract you from exactly what the screen is there for, not to manipulate, right? Because like they say, oh my God, all the gifts. Oh my God, there's people joining. Oh my God, I can do this. Oh my God, look at the people. Oh my God, blah, 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 blah. Everything is so chaotic on a page that you're seeing these creators and it's just like, oh my God, the chaos, the chaos, the chaos. Get away from the chaos. Hiya, Share Bear. How are you, chicken? But yeah, that's the only thing we, con we, we concentrate on. The love. And the comments, two things. And the hearts coming up the side of the screen. That's all that we concentrate on. There's nothing that we need to know who's in the room. I never, ever, because like, right, you'd see people and you see them coming up to the screen, right, and they're like this, look. And then you see that they're just scrolling down through and who's there, right? I never do that. You'll never, ever see me do that. And a year and three and four months, who's in the room, I don't care. All the people are checking who's in the room. <laughs> Good to hear, chicken. Good to hear. Yes, I am, my love. I don't choose my situation, but I do get to choose my beautiful safe space. Good day, good day, good day, mate. <laughs> How are you? Hello, Madison. Is it Madison or Radisson? <laughs> Hi, Rachel.
How are we today? It is, Owen. How are you, chicken? Just having some lunch. I think I might go have some food soon, too. I haven't eaten. I haven't even barely drank in me monster. I've literally, three quarters, I've literally drank that much since I've been on. Hello, just we've been on a while now. We've been on nearly two hours. Two hours and 12 minutes. Two hours and 12 minutes. And it's been a beautiful two hours and 12 minutes. It's passed so quickly. Because that's the first time I've looked at the clock. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not hungry yet though. I had soup and rice cakes. Just plain rice cakes. Jeez, I, I, I've never taken out soup and rice cakes. That's an unusual mix, but I do like an, a rice cake, but just plain. It's like me with noodles. I take all the flavour out and just have it with water. <laughs> water and a small bit of salt. Your comment was probably filtered, Abby. But the combo, I am um, very odd, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Because I've seen the, I've seen now the, the the salty ones as well. Um, but yeah, I'd have to the salt and vinegar on their own. I wouldn't need anything with them. Same with the noodles. I just put a little bit of salt on them. I can't do the flavour, and I can't do water in noodles. Who the fuck drinks water in noodles? It's like that they're all worms floating around in something. No, I don't like spicy food. Oh my God, I just got a tail in the face. <laughs> Thank you, Sky. Oh no, I can't do the squishy, Laura. Yeah, I know, Lorraine. I think that's my, um, my sensory issues. You're eating a protein snack, then I'm, I'm then, that I may, ah, oh, very good. Get the protein into you. I'll get the caffeine. <laughs> suppies. Hold on, doggies want suppies. Oh, you love a good stir fry? No. <laughs> may, well, you see, it depends. You see, I can't do garlic. I can't do spice. I can do salt. I can't even do pepper. Salt and vinegar is, is literally... Yeah, I can be very, very sensory to, to foods and um, textures of foods. That's what's the problem. The texture. Oat milk and honey. That's the Maisie's diet. <laughs> Two seconds, guys. So, please. I also ate green olive suffolk. Oh my god, green olive suffolk garlic. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you, chicken. Sandwich noodles, fish fingers, everything. <laughs> Love that, but I wouldn't do it. I've had noodles on a sandwich though. I've had um, noodles on bread. Thank you so much, Leanne. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my love. I was okay. Ramen bowls are my favourite. Are they, Maisie? How you, Killian? Back from all oh, you lost. You might get regulated. Oh my God. Please don't demote. Please don't demote. <laughs> I hope you get through. I'm doing good, Leanne. I'm doing good, chicken. But yeah, I think we need to come off now, guys. Doggies are back awake again. Or well, maybe she might need to just go get some suppies. Wait, now go get suppies. Do you want to go get suppies? Yes. I did. Sambos. 
But I love wraps. Right, so I've kind of gotten into like, um, I have maybe two pieces of bacon, um, peppers, onion, lettuce, cheese, and tomatoes, and cucumber maybe. Super noodle sandwich. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Your neighbor has a Malamu. Hiya, Charlie. But yeah, it's been a beautiful time with beautiful people. <laughs> She's only looking at you, Sky. <laughs> See you later, Laura. I hope everything goes well, chicken. Have the best day, too. See you soon, my love. See you in my space. See you soon, my love. Have a beautiful day. Even if it is work. Thank you for the roses, my love. Thank you for the love, that endless love, that sacred love you gave me. Hello, Joyce. I saw the light and it saw me. You saw the light and it saw you. Hey, Jay. Oh, we saw the light and it saw us. I saw the light and it saw you. You saw the light and it saw me. It could be the weather. Oh, thank you so much with the crown, Leanne. Thank you so much. I think it's the last night I was young. I didn't sleep well last night at all. Very little plans, Maisie. Very little plans, chicken. Plans to do as little as possible. <laughs> I'm on call today as well. So it's just the doggies. I go over to Uncle Liam's like for the hour, in the afternoon. Um, but I'm on call. <laughs> we have to go charge up the bike, don't we? I have to go charge the bike. Do you love the bike? I'm going to the bike. Will we? I'm going to the bike. Oh, she says she loved the bike. She says she loved the bike. <laughs> she loved biking. You should have seen the look she was giving me earlier on Maisie. Yeah, I got an electric bike like two years. I've had it like, I've had the electric bike for the last two, this is two years, two years I've had it, two years. Um, I got it two summers ago. And I gave myself, what's it called? I gave myself an issue not to use it. <laughs> I created an experience for myself. Um, I'm saving up for an off-road electric bike. Ah, very good. This, I'll show it to you. Look. Um, it's, it's, it's foldable, so it's like 20 kilos. It's very handy. Now, not that I travel with it, like it's very handy for just putting into the car if I want to go off somewhere as well. But it's foldable, it's 20 kilos. And um, yeah, the doggies do be attached to me. 
But um, yeah, it's a fine. I do look. It's a tiny little thing. It's tiny. And I, I like the saddle. I have to have it down to the bottom. <laughs> like when I sit on it, that's where the saddle is right up to my waist. Well, to the top of my legs. So it's only the length of my legs to the floor. <laughs> but um, yeah, I got it two years ago, but I created an experience for myself not to cycle it. What? It's perfect for what you, yes. Yes. It's perfect for what I need it for. Um, but yeah, I do a bit of shopping with it. Wait, lie down now, Sky, lie down, good girl. Come on up around here, come on, up around, up. Come on. Um, it's perfect for what I need it for, and especially teaching the dogs to pull. We are going to sled, ain't we? We're going sledding, <laughs> but with wheels. <laughs> so by the end of the year and a half, that's what I'm hoping for. It's basically, a, yeah, a little mope. Well, I wouldn't say a moped. <laughs> it's a lot smaller than a moped. I only have an old scooter and I attach the sausages too and get pulled along. <laughs> Great idea. Great idea. Sausage powered scooter. <laughs> Love that. A good bull of mire. It is, but it's still warm, Laura. It's still warm. Yeah, that one goes about 20, 24, 25 miles an hour, or kilometres an hour. No, it's not miles an hour. Yeah, it's, uh, it's um, 20, 24 to 27. Thank you, Regina. You are so special as well. Everybody is so, so special. Everyone. Even the negative people are special. They're just conditioned to be negative. <laughs> if you can see behind and through the conditioning... You see me rolling, <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> do what you gotta do to enjoy and make yourself happy. Cycling makes me happy, but that's what I said. I created the experience, so I was up on a hill and I'm not great at hill takeoffs. So um, I, I went to go turn right and I, end, I went to go turn left and then I ended up turning right nearly into a car and then I was like, no, I can't do this. I should have stayed on the cycle tracks and I was on a cycle track, but I still wasn't doing very well. But I still shouldn't really, I should have walked with the bike. I want a full face calm. <laughs> Love that. Go on, Maisie, do you? <laughs> yes, Robert. But um, yeah, I created that experience and then I turned myself off the bike and I should have got the bike out when Sky was younger. I really should have got the bike out when Sky was younger. I fed into a whole two years of her not pulling the lead and then I'm like, fuck it, you're going to pull. <laughs> I'll feed into your pulling now, right? So like, and I, I don't know why I didn't think of the bike. I don't know why it was in the cupboard over there. Hey, you broke. How are we, chicken? How did the husband's birthday go yesterday? Thank you for the heart, me, my love just learning keep going I am just learning I never cycled a bike I never cycled a bike amazing thank you good morning chicken I'm good today Connor did you wish him a happy birthday from me Very good. I'm delighted. And I'm glad he had the best day. I know. Right, that's exactly what I did. I discouraged myself for a whole year and a half. I discouraged myself for a whole year and a half. So I am not discouraging myself. The bike has been with me now for the last month and a half. How many days in are we? Two months. Nearly two months now. We're into our second month on the 21st day of having the bike. So 21 days to make a habit and 21 days to break. Shenanigans, thank you with the follow, chicken. How 
Hey, Akira. We might go down to the beach and have a bag of chips or something. Go to the ocean. Thank you so much, Connor, but we've only been going live a year and four months. It's not been two years. It might seem like two years, but it's not two years yet. It'll be two years next year in April. I think it was like April 15th or between April 15th and 19th. Joy, thank you for the follow, my love. Thank you so much. No, but I I think I'm going to get um I think I'm going to get um life jackets for them first before helmets. They do a lot of swimming as well, but um I think that they could swim more if they got life jackets. Did I hear your hook in the pups? Yes. <laughs> I'm teaching them to pull, so we are going to have a cart by the end of it, fingers crossed. But um, I'm cycling with them the last two months, so they're not doing too bad. They can pull a little. But um, not a huge amount yet. Mush, 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 mush. That's what people do be hearing me shout around the place. Mush. I was go. Yeah, uh, what is it? Um, yup, 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 I say as well. Or mush, 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 mush. Or whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> go on, go on, go on. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> But yeah, and they know left and right. They do know left and right. That's the thing. But I don't have to speak it. I just turn it and they go. But when I'm down on, the, I, I do on hard ground and on soft grass, right? But what I do on the soft grass, I do like figures. So I come left and I, I say left, 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 left. But if Sky is distracted, she needs to look at where my steering is at all times. So she needs to learn this. Storm is usually behind her. So we've got the V lead now. So... They were very much competition with each other. They, Storm was trying to pass out Sky. Sky was trying to pass out Storm. And it was just like, no, we need to get the V lead and the harnesses with them. So I got the V lead and I got the two harnesses. And now Sky is kind of leading. Storm is a little bit behind her. Yeah, that's what we're... We're not going to go for a sled. We're going to go for a cart. It's like a sled, but with wheels. It's like a, a small little sled to be able to carry me and maybe one other person. My fucking battery is low. Oh, but plug her into the wall. Plug her into the wall. <laughs> That's a bad old case, lads. Bad old case. Guaranteed, Connor. They were they were here for a purpose, right? They were here for a purpose. They're not put here just for me. They were put here for a purpose, and I will give them a beautiful purpose. They love to run. Storm, not as much as Sky. When I mean Sky, this dog, she could run for Ireland. She could literally put her in a fucking horse race there now and she would be going giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. I said she runs like a horse as well. She has that movement, the same as a horse. But, um... Ah, the attachment for the above front wheel. Okay, I didn't know that. See, I've been looking for lots of stuff, but I think I've been looking in the wrong places. They are. Give the give them a purpose. They are here for a purpose as well. Not just my purpose, right, dogs? Like you have a lot of aspects to your life, right? We have a lot, a lot of aspects, right? And we are we are the only aspects of their life that we have. So we have to give them a, a, a beautiful life. Do, do Maisie. And better balance in the pack. But it's the exercise, the feeding into it, the happiness that you can see. When I mean when Sky runs, you can see a fucking happy dog. Her behaviour is so happy. And her other happy behaviour is to do middle. She loves going into, you know, when she comes in between my legs and she just sits there. She loves doing middle for some reason. That's another beautiful, happy behaviour from her. Um, but she loves to run. When I mean, hi, no, it's not nighttime, time, bon bon. Only because I wanted one for my bike. Right. They did they just love to run. Sky, and they love to play together too. They really do. They interact very well with each other. They're very, very now. Very now. That's like, because I've become more aware of the present, 
the gift that we have, <laughs> right? Because I've become more aware of the present, I've become more aware of their now behaviours. You take a lot of leaves out of dogs' books, right? You really, really can. Like how they play, how they interact. Everything is done and sorted within seconds. They don't have any... Um, they don't have any... Oh my God, what's the word? Internal, yeah, they don't have any internal damage. Hello, beautiful human. How are you, Ross? But yeah, they don't have any internal damage to when when they hurt each other or when they they want to fight with each other or they want to try get something off each other. Yes, they use manipulation. Yes, they can use certain things, but they use it in the now. They don't use it out of maliciousness. They don't have internal damage to be able to construct experiences for themselves like that. Right, and now damage, or and now experience is just a snap. Right, and then it's over and they're back to the same. They don't have any qualms about it. Like, oh my God, you did that to me. How dare you fucking do that to me? <laughs> but yeah, they're very now, very, very present. And move on, right? That's the behaviour I'm on about. They are so... that, But because I'm so in the now and so in the present, the beautiful gift that we have been given to ourselves and from the universe, the more aware I've become of the conscious now, not the subconscious now, the more of the conscious now, the more I'm aware of their behaviours. The more I see, the more I know, the more I can learn from them. <laughs> Yeah, I learned so much from Sky. She's taught me more than Storm. Sky has, to, like, when I mean this fucking dog has been challenging as fuck. Right, but I've loved every minute of it. I wouldn't give it up for a second because she has, she has, she has created a lot, a lot of, a lot, a lot of surface level stuff that I had issues with, that I'm like, I'm fucking blaming the dog. Why would I be blaming her? She's a beautiful soul that's just trying to teach me. They bring me back to it and now, like when I mean, yesterday they did it. Yesterday they did it. I was like, I was a little bit in the past and I was a little bit up in my head. And then Sky came up, she comes up and she gives her head up in here and she just comes up and then I'm like right back into the now. Come on, off we go, go do what we need to do. Right, and that's completely, dogs bring you straight back and when they need a sup piece of water, when they need the food, when they need their walks, that's all very now things to do. It's beautiful that they just know, isn't it? But we just know too, it's just been fucking conditioned out of us. Doggies can be conditioned too, right? We've seen conditioned true doggies. But my doggies, they're conditioned to love. They are conditioned to give beautiful, beautiful love to darkness too. Right, they give love to darkness. They give love to so much darkness. Sky has given so much love to my darkness. She's seen my darkness, haven't you, baby? She has. She's held space for my darkness. They do, Bonbon, bon. that's the thing. They make us so happy. So happy. Now she's coming up to lay beside me. So happy. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The light, the light, the light. What does the dogs are peace, dogs are joy, dogs are happy. Like babies. Same thing. All animals. So much Maisie. Unconditional. That's the only love I know, broke. I don't know any other love. I've never experienced any other love but unconditional. There's no conditions to it, right? Whatever happens, happens. The same thing with, like I was 16 years with a person, right? And there was a lot, a lot of unconditional love throughout that process and a lot of not so conditional love from myself because I was such a fucking control freak, right? And not possessiveness or not anything like that. It was just how things were done or how she couldn't eat garlic or how that I couldn't allow her to do certain things around me because I had certain issues with certain things. Like, I was that person. I'm not that person now because I've learned. I'm like, why the fuck was I even doing this? Like, that's even so crazy. Like, for 16 years, that woman did not eat garlic or fish. Towards the end, she started eating fish. I used to hold my breath in the car 
when I was driving, we had like a five, maybe six minute drive back. And I was breathing through my nose and holding my mouth so I didn't take in that smell of the fish. But she never had a lot of fish around me, not garlic, no nothing. <laughs> that's, that's bad, like, do you know what I mean? That is like, that's not good. <laughs> And I know that now and I understand it. Like, I know I'm laughing now, like, because I, you can, maybe. And I hope that she doesn't, do you know what I mean, have much resentment towards me. And I apologise. I really apologise. I do, but I'm apologising to myself. For, oh, the fucking smell of fish is rank. Absolutely. What the fuck would anybody, that's why, the, the, it's the smells that put me off before I would eat it. If that doesn't fucking smell good, I ain't going near that shit. Do you know what I mean? So that's why I can't understand why people even eat. Why would you eat spicy food when it burns you? I, I couldn't understand how people like eat food that burn. Why would you want to fucking burn yourself? Are you sadistic or something? Right, and the same thing with garlic. It's like you're putting something that smells like not nice, but garlic. I love, I know my auntie, she loves garlic. My mother fucking loved garlic. But I have like, my mother was quite sadistic as well, right? She knew that I had, she used to laugh at me, right? She actually used to laugh at me and goad me because of the sensory issues that I had and used to put them down. No, I'm telling you it's the truth, but I have like, I have traumatized issues over fish. I seriously have traumatized issue over fish and garlic and the experiences I was given as a child, like, I remember my mother used to get this garlic salami stuff, right? And the, when I mean the, the minute you open the fridge and the stink out of it, right? We all have now, exactly, but this came from conditioning and before, and it's the only way that she knew how. But she was quite sadistic in it. I think her mother was quite sadistic. But she used to laugh about it or laugh at me. Um, But they, right... When she used to open the fridge, right, and this garlic salami, so, like, I have a Down syndrome sister, my eldest sister, and Tash and my mother were sitting in front of me at the table in the kitchen, and they were both eating the garlic salami, right? I know, I know, no, fuck no. I've held fish, I worked in a fish factory, I've, I can hold fish. The smell of fresh fish is a lot better than fucking fish out of a chipper even, or fish cooked, or, because it, it's, there's an aroma then, like, I don't like the aroma. It's okay when it's fresh, because I've held, I've taken guts out of fish and everything. That's not the problem. Not even the texture is the problem. It's the fucking smell that, bleh, that's exactly the way it goes, right? <laughs> Anyways, so they were both sitting in front of me in the table and um, my mother knew that I didn't like this smell like and she knew that I was like retching and then like when I were after eating their sandwich they were just like <sighs> breathing the fucking smell off their bastard breath. It was disgusting. I like it was literally made me vomit. I ran up to the toilet, got sick. Like I was roaring, crying, fucking traumatized by the fucking smell. As traumatized I was every time I opened the fridge. Right, as traumatised as I was by the smell every time I opened the fridge, like, and it's still the same today. Still the same, like, fucking 35 years, 35, 38 years on, whatever. Do you know what I mean? I'm just like, oh my God. It's not nice. It is not nice. But to have that done to you, I think, in a way as well. Do you know what I mean? When she knew it wasn't nice and she knew that it was making me fucking sick and then she laughing at me. <laughs> and I'm just like, right, that did not feel nice. <laughs> But anyways, there's a lot of experiences that I know that my mother, my, like, I was there to wake my mother up, but I, like, I just triggered her like, fuck, she didn't see that the triggers were meant to help her heal, that I was meant to trigger what was brought to the surface with my mother. I was like to be a mirror to her, right? I was like brought to be a mirror to her, but I just triggered her so much that where she saw it when I got to my late 20s, maybe early 30s, she saw it then, but she didn't see it when I was a child. My brother tried to shove a tomato down my throat um, to see if one, I freak out or uh, out, I'm very bad. I think, yeah, right, so like, David, why do fucking people do that? Like a tomato, you could have choked on that, my love. Do you know what I mean? Was it a cherry tomato? Fucker. You see, that's the sadistic things like that brothers and sisters that will do. It's like, you don't do that. And like Tash wouldn't have did that. Tash is then and Tash wouldn't have did that unless my mother did that. She only learned from what she learned from my mother. My si <laughs> I had a fight with my sister when I was younger. She wouldn't let me out. 
right? And we had to clean the house one Saturday morning. My mother used to go to work every Saturday morning. It was up to us to clean. So I used to do all the cleaning so I could get out of the house. Sabrina wouldn't do jack shit, like, right? So many times I used to have to do it all, right? And I used to get out of the house. But this day anyway, Sabrina said, no, Mammy says you're not going out. Mammy says you're not. I was like, fucking Mammy can say fuck all. And I was like, I'm going out the door. So I gave her a fucking kick, but I left my footprint on her arm. Like, I just shoved up my leg, like, she was standing in front of the door there, like, so I got her in the arm anyway. Left me footprint on her arm, and when I ran out the door, she went to ring me mother. But I ran off for the day, I didn't come back. <laughs> so when I came back in the evening time, it was when Sabrina seen me, and then she fainted on the ground to make it a lot worse, like, that she was so scared of me. And then it just made my mother fucking punish me even more, that I did this to my sister, and look what you've did to her. <laughs> I was like, oh, mother, you don't even fucking know the half of a woman. <laughs> but, yeah, she was the goody-goody two-shoes, and I was, like, the fucking, the wild thing that could not be tamed. I could not be tamed in the slightest. I just tried to run. <laughs> it was like a dog <laughs> that didn't need to be at the home. <laughs> Sarah, thank you so much for the flame heart chicken. Um, do you have any tips for dealing with narcissists you can't avoid? Um protection if, if you're more aware right so like the thing that's going to that's going to harm a narcissist is the grey rock like is to not react they want you to react they want to have the power they want to dim your light so you you regain your light and your power by not reacting is the only thing that I can say but you have to be a very fucking strong person they know how to press your buttons really really well strawberry Anna right and I know this from experience so definitely, um, they're more wounded than you are, chicken, right? And because of their wounds and their learned behaviours, it's the only thing that they know, right? And take worth in yourself that it's not you, it's them. That's the issue. But you can't tell them that they're the issue. You just have to know. You can't. They're not going to listen. No matter how much you say, they're not going to listen. You just need to know. And what you know, you know. And then the rest of it you just try to ignore your best you just try to ignore as much as you can straight over the head don't let it affect you straight over the head you can let it affect you in the four walls when you go into the bedroom and then then deal with the situation but don't let him or her see it if they see that you're not reacting and they have not they, they, don't, they don't have the power when you don't react that's the only thing that they need to see you is down and out and reacting and being all crazy don't react don't let them see the craziness do it in behind four walls that will fucking get them like fuck. Children are savage, I'm telling you. <laughs> what if they perceive my silence as an insult too? That's the, yeah, let them. They, don't, but you have to walk away. Don't stay in the room, right? So you have to, rem once you start not reacting, you have to move yourself from the room because they will get triggered by you not reacting and then still try blame it on you as an insult. This is the projection. So you need to remove yourself from the situation, right? If they can perceive that they will perceive anything they need to to throw it back at you. It's all about what's the, what they can use as ammunition towards you to keep you in the state that they're in or that this the state that they need you in. No problem, strawberry. No problem. It is broke. I've dealt with a lot, a lot of narcissists, but I've learned to remove their power. No problem, Lisa. No problem. They feed off the reactions. That what that's what makes them so powerful. Like they, it's the sadistic natures in them that they get a kick out of you being down and out, and you literally begging and pleading. Yeah, they they love that reaction. Like they're like this fucking person. I have them exactly where I want them. Don't give them that. Don't give them that power. So yeah, the grey rock. If you look up the grey rock method. And then the thing with Mel Robbins is, let them. If anybody knows that, that theory of fucking, if anybody's saying anything, if anybody's doing anything, even if it's to do with your son, because there's so much that we have tried to control, and we don't even realise how far our control goes till somebody fucking triggers us, and then we have no control, and then you lose your shit over having no control, and then who has control? Fucking nobody at the end of the day, because it's your own cage mind that has the controller, the not controller, your emotions. You don't have control if you you can get triggered like that that's not control 
you know what I mean? You might think you have control of every bit of your environment and your safety is the trigger. That your safety is the, is the trigger. That's how you how you protect yourself. Yeah, the, the grey rock is, is very good to be dealing with narcissists. I don't know who did the theory now, um, but it is. It's very good. It's all about taking back your power as well and do, it, be like a rock. <laughs> right? A rock doesn't do anything. Rock stays very, very still, very, very, it, it doesn't move, right? It doesn't speak, still has energy. Thank you for the love, <laughs> that endless love, that, that endless love, that sacred love you gave me. Yeah, but you see, this is the this is the whole thing, Rosie. If we're aware and so so self aware, right? So like you, Strawberry Annie, you are because you're asking the questions, right? Did if if you can tell if somebody's aware and woke and knowing if what other people's behaviors are, but you're also questioning your own behavior, right? So if somebody asks me a question, I can tell them exactly if, if you're woke or you're not woke. If you're questioning somebody else's behavior in a situation, which you question both strawberry, right? You questioned your own, how should I deal with this? And then you question, what if they perceive it this way? So they were both beautiful, beautiful questions, right? So that's like woke um, to your own behavior and woke to somebody else's. Because we can all be woke to somebody else's behavior, but can we be woke to our own? On how we deal with certain situations. Because I know there's some certain situations like that I've dealt with. And I've just literally jumped. When I mean not to fucking, not to 60 in less than a second or two. Just gone straight in and not thought about the process. Not being self-aware. Being triggered. And then being, um, your, your, your conscious thinking is switched off when you're triggered. You're thinking with the subconscious learned part of your brain. Right, and I know so much about triggers. I've learned so much about triggers. I've gone through a lot, a lot of my triggers to know that they're there for us to learn from. They're at the surface level and it, the, the quicker you're triggered, the, the more you need to learn from that um, experience and exactly what the issue is through the experience. Thank you so much, Isabel. Thank you, Chick. Thank you, Isabel. Yes, yes, I'm working on it. Exactly, so am I. We're not all fucking angels and saints, right? And we're not meant to be, right? And this is how we people please and fucking pussyfoot and tiptoe and around everything and anything. Lots of people have issues, but till you start communicating in a healthy way, that's when you see all the unhealthy fucking shit come out. <laughs> because people can't, don't even know how to communicate in a healthy way. And when they see healthy communication, they take it as an attack. They take it as a complete direct attack. And then we have another fucking issue. Right? So communicating in a healthy way is good. Is good in a healthy way. But you can communicate in a very volatile, very aggressive, very manipulative, very gaslighting way. <laughs> But that's for us to learn from. You are there to learn from yourself. You are there to learn from yourself. Not just others. Fuck others. Because sometimes the learning is that you just you either just need to go through it or you don't need to go through it. You need to be in it or not in it. You need to learn how to protect yourself mentally, emotionally, spiritually and physically. And keep yourself safe. Have people, right? Because, like, people are... Ref right? I'm going to keep on repeating this as well. People are reflections of you, right? People are reflections of who you are, who you don't want to be, who you were, and who you are now, right? Sometimes that now person that they show you can trigger you so much, then there's stuff that you need to work on, girly, and that's okay. As long as that you're aware of it, right? It's just, don't, if another person makes you aware of something and then you're like, oh shit, yeah, maybe I might need to work on that. Like, do you know what I mean? And then keep working on it and working on it and working on it. You have to feel it to heal it. 
right and triggers exactly f- triggers you make you feel right but we're all about blaming the other person for our triggers and not feeling what we're needing to feel ourselves to be able to go through the process to know what we need to heal tapped my way out of the life <laughs> tapity tap 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 <laughs> well, what happened yesterday Rosie maybe we can share the half the problem with a little bit of support and reassurance and knowing that you're doing the right thing. It's the same thing though as well, right? Like a lot of us will go to people, right? And they say, well, I'm thinking about doing this, right? And then that person will talk you out of what you're thinking of doing. And it's like, a person should be happy for what you're doing, right? No matter what it is, right? No matter what it is, whether you to decide to go dig a hole, right? And live in that hole. And you tell your friend that you're going to dig a hole now and I'm going to live in that now, right? And, and this is what I want to do. Then your friend will say, what the fuck are you digging a hole for? Like, what is the purpose in this? And then they talk you out of digging the hole, right? So what if that digging that hole was meant to be your whole life experience, right? But somebody talked you out of it and just because of their shit impacted on you and because of your learned behavior, you didn't dig that hole. Imagine if that hole was to be the best experience in your life and somebody talked you out of it because of your non-awareness of like, I don't give a fuck, don't tell me I'm going to fucking dig this hole. What are you talking to me for? This is going to be the best hole ever. <laughs> Right, that's just in talking about an experience, right? So don't stop yourself from digging the fucking holes. Keep digging them. <laughs> as long as you can get out of them, you're fine. <laughs> People are going to say anyway, what, what you put out is what you get back. But there's an awful lot of entities and distractions, Mr. Man, that's going to stop you from doing your life. Like society, like your environments, like people, like places, like work, like systems. They're all there to distract you. Right? And the more you become self-aware, the more you become aware of the fucking distractions out there. It's like, I don't need any more distractions. Thank you very much. We don't need distractions. I get you. I get you. But you don't want to do it. And you're just thinking that your sister is just taking a little bit above herself on telling everybody what to do. <laughs> Basically, and do you have problems with authority, Rosie? Yes, completely broke. Like, you need to be so secure, so confident in the belief of yourself. Do you believe in you? Do you even know who you are to believe in you? Right, so even getting to know you as you are, not who you think you are, not who others think that you are, that you have to know who you are. Our knowing, there's lots of inner knowings that we have, but to get to know yourself, that's that's the thing that we need to do. Rachel, thank you with the harp of get good with yourself. Yes, Rachel, thank you with the follow chicken. I'm especially swayed to others. I'm especially swayed by others. I definitely double think digging my hole. <laughs> You're right. So <laughs> this is the thing, right? This is the thing. I know full well that when I wanted to start camping, they were like, no, what are you doing that for? Like, why would you want to do that? Right? This was what was said to me at the start of my camping. And I'm like, I need to do this. Right? I need to. It was my dad and Uncle Liam. Now, Uncle Liam right? He would, he would fucking stand up in a court of law right now. At the start, he was like, there's no way you're fucking doing that. Like, you can't do that, right? This is not going to be good for you. Why are you going to do that? Like, you're only going to end up hurting yourself and la, 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 right? So, but from that to four years ago to now, Uncle Liam would stand in a court of law and swear down, right, that this girl and this space has nothing but good has come out of it, right? And he was like, it's it's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. Why? What's going to come from this? <laughs> What's going to come from it? Fucking me is going to come from it. I found myself here, right? It was laid here for me to find myself and I wouldn't have found myself, but Uncle, well, Uncle Lim didn't have belief at the start, but he has belief now. So I will keep digging my holes, right? And as long as we can get out of them, we're good. 
but don't let anybody not dig your fucking hole, I'm telling you. Keep keep doing what you need to do. Don't give a fuck what others have to say because they are not gonna they are not gonna have an impact on your happiness. They are not gonna have an impact on your passion. Right? So why if you're passionate about something, this is another thing. If you're passionate about something, why would you go for reassurance and validation of another person? You should be able to reassure and validate because you're passionate about it. That should be the security and I know I love doing this. So what would another person have an impact if you love it? So like if we're that low vibrational and somebody says, nah, you shouldn't be doing that. But you've been doing it for years and nobody knows about it, right? You've been doing it for years and you're so good at it, right? And nobody knows and then you share it with one person, right? But that one person doesn't have your best intentions at heart. And even that's your mother, your father, your uncle, your brother, your sister, right? Them intentions would not be coming from a good place. They would not be coming, they'd be coming from a low vibration. They'd be telling you, you can't do it. But no, you can never, but I am doing it, right? And you can prove that you've been doing it, right? And then they just say no. And then you're just like, oh, okay. And then they take that away and you take it with yourself. And you're just like, maybe I shouldn't do it. Even though I love doing it, but why should I? And this is the thing, that's the mental battle that you'll have. And it's like, fucking course, I've been doing it for years. Why wouldn't I not want to do it? Still keep doing it. And if they don't give a shit, that's not your issue. That's theirs. Caleb, thank you with the play music, chicken. The apps and the TVs, all distractions, anything external. Anything that your eyes can see is a fucking huge distraction. And do you know what it's distracting you from? Yourself. You. Yes, you are correct, but you have to have an apt and oh, uh, you have to have you have to adapt and overcome. It is, but it's healing, healing, and that is a long fucking journey. I've been here for four years, healing, growing, learning, consuming myself with stuff that I need to, and not the shit that I don't externally. Fuck external. I'm all internal. I'm going within. I've gone so fucking deep. I'm nearly reaching to the depths of my soul and pulling it out to show you guys. Right, that's where it comes from, the passion, right? People will listen. If you are passionate about something and you speak about something that you are passionate about, people will listen. I can guarantee you that. I've also been told that not to make decisions that have proved people wrong and changed minds, right? <laughs> but that's your own way of thinking though, you see, this, this is the thing. If we had our own mindset that we were not taught from conditioning or society and we had learned for ourselves, not from other people, we would know. If we're only learning from what others and what we've trained ourselves and what our brain has remembered, it's like a fucking big little, it's like a, a data processing computer that has just remembered, remembered, remembered. And stuff that served you back 10 years ago is not going to serve you now. Stuff that served you back as a child is not going to serve you now. But we still use the fucking same behaviours from when we did when we were 5 and 7 and 10 and 15 and 20. And now we're 45 using the same behaviours. So the conditioning is to recondition, unlearn, relearn and fucking and heal and change yourself to be a better person for you not for nobody else because fuck everybody else everybody else has their own agenda everybody else has their own intentions you have your own intentions for you and be the best beautiful you you're the only one that can make you do it nobody else can make you a beautiful person nobody else can make you happy nobody else can give you joy or give you peace you have to give it to yourself first and then you can give it in abundance to any one that you need you're distracting yourself from yourself that's all it is. Distractions. Every single thing external is distracting you from your internal being and your internal soul for your soul's purpose, your life's purpose. Because when you go within, that's when you give yourself a purpose and a passion and you start to learn about yourself and what you like and what you actually really don't like and not from what you've learned before, Strawberry. We love the FYP. Hi, Morgan. Exactly, Melanie. Hi, Marianne. Everyone has their own journey. Everyone does it differently, right? But sharing experiences, just knowing that we're not alone. We don't all have to do the same thing. Nobody's telling anybody to do anything that I'm doing, right? We're just giving examples that I'm living the way I live because I don't give a fuck about what other people think. The same as what other people are digging holes. If that was the best hole that you were ever going to dig and somebody told you not to dig that hole, right? But you don't know that that's going to be the best hole. You're only taking an example from what you've learned from somebody else. 
So you have to experience it to do it, to know it. And then that's exactly, that's where you gain that power. It's like, I fucking knew it'd work. How the fuck did he tell me? And that's where you gain the person. I don't give a fuck what he thinks. Fuck what he thinks. That could be your mother, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncle. That's conditioning from family. They don't have faith in themselves to have faith in you. You have you have to have your faith in you. You have to have belief in you. And that comes from within. You have to go with your gut feeling on things and do exactly what makes you happy. I is back for a bit. Hi is I. <laughs> How are you, Con? Are you okay, chicken? How did your morning go? Hello again. How's your day been so far? It's been absolutely beautiful, Morgan. You are just right. Thank you, Mary Ann. Right, Melanie? But the same experiences will keep on happening over and over and over till you learn to do the opposite of the experience that's happened to you over and over again. You just do the opposite. So once you start as polar opposites, why do you think that we have polar opposites? Right? Why do you think that we have everything as a polar opposite? So to do the, the, the opposite, because you can't expect, right, that's happened to me tons. So that's insanity, Melanie, right? Repeating the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. That's complete insanity because it's repeat, repetitive patterns, behaviors, cycles that you can't get out of. It's a loop in your fucking head and your body and that's it. That's all it is. Right, so once you can learn to relearn the behavior that's going to change that from happening to you tons, that's what has to happen. We all need to be clear. We all need to clear our own paths. And do you know what to do? And so it will make you crazy. Everything that is put for you to go internally, right, and to sit there with yourself, the more uncomfortable that you get, the more crazier that you feel, the more lost that you feel, fucking feel it. Right, because that's exactly what's supposed to be happening. Anything that's happening to you right now and the more crazy you feel, you feel like you're just going to go fucking off the rails. Do feel. Go what you need to go through because the exact path that isn't there that you can't see, that's exactly what needs to be there. Your path disappears when you're starting to find yourself. Right, and until you find yourself and go internally, that's when your path reappears. <laughs> Laura, thank you so much with the rose chicken. I had to think for me, care for me, love me first. And then the fog lifted. We just said this, Melanie, right? So love you, care for you, self-love, self-care, an abundance of it. The inner child too. We talk about the inner child so, so much. That little girl needs to be loved by someone. She needs to be held. She needs to have space held for her. She needs to feel safe. She needs to feel protected. She needs to feel loved. She needs validation. She needs reassurance. She needs so much support. That's a little girl. Would you leave that little girl in real life? So you wouldn't leave the little girl inside you so conformed and tamed, right? So, like, that's what my family tried to do to me. <laughs> and it didn't fucking work very well, right? We need a lot of balance. We need so much balance. But most people that are not woke are just ran on chaos and shitty fucking feelings and low vibration um, broke. So we are not meant... We are not meant to change this. We're meant to change it for ourselves. We're not meant to change anyone else. We're not meant to wake anybody else. We're not here to make anybody get it or understand it. And most people have been silenced. Those people have been woke for 20 years and have felt so alone. So alone on their journey. Like, this is like, I'm feeling for all the people that have been woke for the last 30, 40, 50 years. And I'm just like, oh my God, you just had nobody to talk to. You had nobody to express. You had nobody to get you and how crazy that they were and felt by any but they still carried on their journey. They're still spreading their word right now. They're still spreading their light, their love, their joy, their abundance and how they gained it. The most unique, beautiful people like myself. You will see through this app so much. Hey a sweet bee. Live and learn always. Hey a courts. Good to hear, Melanie. Yes, I do, Ken. I'm in the cycle of work, eat, sleep, repeat, right? So, uh, the lunar cycle, that's what I'm with, the fucking moon, the sun. When the sun comes up, that's when I wake. And since I've been out in nature, I have a nature body clock, right? I have a nature body clock. I go with the sun and the moon. My cycle goes with the moon. Not that I get my fucking period anymore, but I still go with the moon. 
right? I know when I have energy. I know when I don't. I know when I'm this. I know when I'm that. I feel it. I don't just know it. So, like, you can't just know it and you have to experience it. You have to feel it to be able to give what we give, right? And we're not here to make anybody believe or get it. I only believe. I only have to understand what I understand. Nobody else has to. Right? But it's fucking hard when you feel like you're the only one. <laughs> Am I the only one that gets this? Am I the only one that thinks this way? Right? And th that's when you start like, this. like, where the fuck is my people at? <laughs> where are my vibe tribe? Right? Where are my people? People will start to listen. People will start to get it. And then you won't feel so alone. Mary Ann, thank you with the ice cream cone. You too, Melanie. I'm Gen X, so we learned at a young age how to do for ourselves, right? Thank you, Connor. Hiya, Kathleen. How are you? Thank you, Pete. Thank you so much, Chicken with the Roses. Thank you so much. The teenager, the teenager, the 20s, the whole lot of it, Rosie, going from right from your zero to seven to now, right? All of it has to be worked on. All of it. So much. But the little girl needs to start with first because she has to be strong and standing on her own two feet because the teenager will have a lot more resentment. The, the, the child doesn't. The, the child just needs nurturing. The teenager needs a lot of understanding, a lot of compassion to come with the teenager, right? So much understanding. The fucking teenager will drive you cracked, right? And if the teenager in you doesn't drive you crazy from healing, I don't know what will. And the same thing with the adult stuff that you're still using childlike behaviours to protect yourself. I was only using them up to, what, two, three years ago. Two years ago, I was using childlike behaviours to protect myself. Now, I'm not as much and not as bad and I don't get triggered half as bad. As what I do, yes, I can, there's some things that do affect me and I, that's what I said, I can be affected because I'm still healing through them, I'm still learning through my processes and yes, I can still get struggled, thank you bro, thank you chicken, how are you star? But having a small family helps focus on other things, it can be hard to juggle everything, I can Mr. Man, I can, there's an awful lot with life itself. I hear you, thank you so much Melanie. Thank you, bro. Thank you, chicken. I'm good, Kathleen. How are you, chicken? Melanie, yes, we did. Yes, we 